The idea is that we're taking five different universities from various disciplines that come together, uh, have their own expertise, and that, um, that they enrich a, a single project. We have two architectural schools, one engineering school, uh, nursing students, and then I represent some of the construction management students. So we all come together, uh, design the building, the systems, kind of plan out how you build it, and then we have the nursing staff there to work with the uh, flow of the building and kind of making sure it's feasible on the operations end. SS students are competing in a charrette, which is a quote-unquote brainstorm of ideas to come up with a project in a limited amount of time. Uh, we're proposing a micro-hospital for the Gulch neighborhood and we're basically working in a collaborative team to come up with a solution for this project. The goal is to make it as lean as possible with regard to staffing and to be, make, make it very efficient, but also to have a mission to somehow serve in the neighborhood where it is. Some models of competitions might be uh, more focused um, solely on a particular discipline. This one's really looking for a diversity of, of expertise and in that sense enriching the project. So I have a really great team in terms of we kind of all mesh together and learned that like what we want to do is is bigger than any maybe personality traits we have so we've been able to work really well and hear everyone's perspective and it seems like everyone's kind of chimed in. In school I only work with other construction management students so I kind of know um, you know, what I'm good at, what I need to work on when I'm working with other construction managers. So it's definitely helping me learn to communicate with others uh, in other disciplines. My part in the design team is as an RN. And I, at first I thought I wouldn't have anything to contribute, but it turns out that the input that I have given has been valuable. I've been surprised at how, how much it's been helpful to have an RN. There's a lot of takeaways, not only for the students, but everybody who's watching it, you know, because it, it's, um, it is an opportunity to learn um, how we might do things differently professionally. Something I've learned that's going to help me in the future has definitely been learning how to work with um, kind of the architects on the front end of things. That's really helped me kind of get a better understanding of what they do and why it's so important that you start communicating with them from the beginning. One aspect that I've really found interesting and um, learned through this process is the value of having a nurse on the team, really having that owner perspective and what it should look like, how those systems are working inside the hospital. That's just been really interesting having that inside perspective and being able to incorporate that into our design and engineering. I'm learning what it really takes for the engineer and what they have to do to work with us. Um, the construction manager and what he has to deal with, and then even on the nursing side, what it really takes for them to operate a building that we design. Um, and so getting her opinion on a lot of placement of program and you know where we're putting the doors and that sort of thing is really valuable. I think that learning from all of these different fields has really taught me how real life works, and that's something that as a student you don't really have. You're always doing your own project. You might work in teams, but it's in the same discipline. I've learned a lot of new words and terms, which has been fun, and worked with some people that I wouldn't have gotten to otherwise, which has been a joy. Since it's interdisciplinary, uh, it really helps kind of point out, you know, what I need to do better at with communicating with other trades, what I need to um, give my input on some things that don't matter right now, but will matter down the road. So the runner-up team, is team number two. The winning team for the Student Design Challenge 2018 is team number three. I think it's a very unique experience that we as students don't usually get. In a design office, you're involved with working with engineers, with contractors, 
and with people in the field that you're designing to like healthcare. Um, it really shows that architecture moving forward is a team sport. Um, no matter where you go, no, no matter what you design, you always have to look to who the users are, you have to look to what the engineers need to do, and even down to like how the construction manager builds this for us, you know, that sort of thing. So that's, that's definitely one thing that, uh, that stuck with me within this whole weekend. I guess I just want to say thank you to all the um, companies and organizations and people who put time and energy into this so that we can have the opportunity to work at a college level and work with people that I might not have the opportunity to work with in the industry and kind of learn from everyone and get ideas and just really thankful, so thank you.